We're at the Istanbul Coffee Festival where over 100 exhibitors and brands are holding tasting and brewing workshops. Now, let's get caffeinated. Look at that person. Let's see what she's doing. I want to know what she's doing. Seems like this lady's on the grind. Her literal bicycle coffee grind. That's that good. Drink coffee. This is wind. And this is ghost. And they're just catching some shade and chilling among the festival goers. Aw, look at wind. Oh, man. Smell that. Smell that bread. <laughs> so coffee was first discovered in Ethiopia when a shepherd saw his goats munching on these berries and saw that they were so stimulated that they wouldn't sleep at night. And then the shepherd told monks about the stimulating properties who would later brew it in the middle of the night so they could stay up and practice their rituals. A fun fact, actually the word mocha comes from the Yemeni port of Mocha where coffee was first being distributed out of and it reached the Ottoman Empire. That's why Turkey plays such an integral role in coffee culture because it was the Ottomans that introduced it into Europe. For example, espresso was just the Italian modification of the Turkish coffee. Which reminds me, let's go try some Turkish coffee. Who knew coffee could be so musical? They put some beans in a jar, they started shaking it around, and now they're creating music. Genelde filtre kahve içiyorum. Ekstra şatlı oluyor eğer çok yorgunsam. Ee, onun dışında sütlü kahveler çok fazla tüketmiyor. Sade tercih ediyorum. Ee, kahveyi çok sevdiğim için, burada da her türlü kahve bulabileceğim için e, bugün kahveye doymayı bekliyorum açıkçası. Turkish coffee is so central to its culture that they even have proverbs written about it. They say that Turkish coffee should be black as hell, strong as death, and as sweet as love. They even say that experiencing a single cup of Turkish coffee will be remembered for 40 years. <laughs> now let's talk to Sertaç and see how technology is evolving within the coffee culture. So what do we have here? So we have the Turkish coffee cup here. So right. uh, as the culture, so we kind of turn the cup upside down yeah. to, to predict the future okay. by real fortune tellers. Yeah. So what we do, we created an artificial intelligence fortune teller and convert this into an app. Mm. Sweet virtual psychic, what is my fortune? So let's take a photo with different angles. All right, here we go. Have a look. Well, if this is right, I'm getting promoted. This is Nilly Fad, and she just got a coffee portrait done of herself. Coffee art. Exploring the coffee culture is all fun and games until you realize you're not getting to bed anytime soon. So for now, ciao bella. <laughs> <laughs>